So we're here at the DJI, and who are you? So I'm Adam Lisberg. I'm the head U.S. spokesman for DJI. We're the world's largest maker of unmanned aerial vehicles, and we have uh, the majority of the market share. What you're looking at here is the state-of-the-art consumer drone that we make. It is wildly popular because of all the advances that we've put into this. Now, this is small enough to toss in a bag right now, but as you see when it unfolds, this turns into a compact but powerful drone that you can use for almost any purpose. That the is, it, is it just as good as a Phantom 4? So they're, they're built for different purposes. The Phantom 4 Pro that we have on the table over there has a, a much larger image sensor, it has a one inch image sensor, has a mechanical shutter. If uh, being able to shoot really at the edge of imaging capability is what matters to you, you should get a Phantom 4 Pro. If you want something that you can keep in your bag or, or keep in a big jacket pocket, but can uh, capture the, the moments of your life, uh, you want to put them up when you're out with your friends, with your family, and shoot life as you see it. This is an incredible uh, drone for doing that. What are we this, looking at here for the camera? So this is a protective dome that we put over it. We, we like showing it with the dome just because it looks cool. But once you have it off, you can see this camera is on a stabilized gimbal so that as you're flying and moving, it keeps the imaging locked on. How's it working at DJI? DJI is an incredible drone company, right? And DJI is an incredible drone company. You've got They're that right. The leader in the world. Yeah, we are the world's leader. Uh, we don't release sales figures, but independent analysts estimate that we have about 70% of the market. And what you've seen increasingly is that uh, what distinguishes drones is the software inside them, the firmware inside them, the processing power that goes into them. This drone, for example, it has obstacle avoidance sensors in the front here so that it knows as you're getting too close to something, it will stop short be able to prevent it from taking off. It has on the bottom here, these two sensors that can track your height from the ground. So for example, if you're flying along a hillside, it will make sure that you stay at a consistent height above the hillside instead of uh, becoming a very expensive shovel. Um, one of the interesting things that it does is when you take off, it chooses a short burst of stereoscopic video. And so when you say, when you push a button and say, return to where you took off, GPS will get you within a couple of feet. That it will then go back to that video, compare it to what you're looking at, and say, okay, here's exactly where it took up, and land within a couple of inches of where you took off. There are also autonomous flight modes in here that let you say, I want to follow this person, this object, this device, and I'd like to follow it from behind. I'd like to track alongside it and get a moving shot. I'd like to be in front of it backing up. I'd like to keep the camera focused on that person or the car or bicycle while I fly the drone around it. You can do all that with this. That's very high order machine learning that goes into that kind of processing power. And we've packed it all into something you can put in your pocket. It runs on a Movidius uh, technology also. And uh, how, how, what's the software and who's doing the software? So we are, we are responsible for our engineering. DJI has about 2,000 engineers, hardware and software. So, you know, we reckon we're a very engineer-driven company. We don't put out products because the marketing department says, uh, people demand a drone that can do this fancy thing. It's the engineers who say, we wanted to challenge ourselves to do something that's never been done before. Take a look at what we've come up with. And let's get it out there so people can use it. Tell us about those image sensors, because they really deliver a superior, uh, uh, you know, image experience, uh, 4K video in some of your products. Yep. Uh, what about the development of that technology and the sensors uh, and the lenses that you're using? Yeah, it's, you know, we have become an imaging uh, company as well. You know, 10 years ago, DJI was about figuring out how to spin four propellers around so you could get something off the ground. And once we solved that problem, it became how do you stabilize a camera by coming up with a gimbal system that even when you're moving a drone around or it's being buffeted by the wind, it will keep the image smooth. And as we solved that problem, we said, why would you eat why don't we create our own cameras that are optimized for flight and can still deliver that kind of image quality? And now we are making very high powerful, uh, very high powered uh, camera lenses for our professional series of drones. Uh, we're in a partnership with Hasselblad, which you know everyone knows about their kind of image quality. What's the biggest challenge uh, that you have when you develop a technology like this? I mean, what's what's the biggest obstacle that you have with with developing drone technology? It's 
You know, I'd hesitate to say that there is any one enormous insoluble problem. It's a lot of small problems along the way. Um, and a lot of it is coming up with how do you how do you come up with the processing power inside a drone to do these tasks better while managing your batteries. I mean the you know, most of the drain on the battery life, for example, comes from the motors. They're spinning around quickly, trying to keep this in the air. But a non-trivial part of the battery life is devoted to the processing power that goes into this. There's an incredible amount of computer imagery, and even more with the bigger drones that have more features that, that are necessary for professional uh, filmmaking, that uh, they need to be uh, chewing through enormous quantities of data in real time to accomplish the mission while flying. So it's, you know, they are more and more flying computers. I think that's one of the trends that you're gonna see in the drone industry is 2017, is that will, is your, you know, as I say, we're moving higher up the stack, that more and more of the, of, of the technology problem to be solved is in the processing side, it's in how to gather enormous quantities of data, make sense of it all, process it quickly, turn it into actionable information. Can you show us some of this? What is that about? <coughs> Over here. Uh, what is going on here? So, this is the screen you see on the left there is a high intensity controller, I'm sorry, a high intensity display screen called Crystal Sky. And that's designed to be used with our Inspire 2, it's our newest uh, filmmaking and professional quality, quality drone. It is, that has approximately four times the brightness of your standard smartphone or tablet. It's designed so that if you are shooting a movie in broad daylight, you can uh, see very precisely what you're shooting um, without having to hide under a hood or, or work under a screen. What's the software over here? This is software. This is an example of what I was talking about, how uh, you know, there are more enterprise demand for our software, uh, for drone applications, not just buying a drone and figuring out what to do with it. This is a new program we put out, and it should be available in the, app, the Apple App Store today, uh, called Ground Station Pro. And it helps you define how to, to fly a mission if you want to create aerial mapping, if you want to create 3D imagery, how do you capture the data necessary to create that? So it lets you define an area, a perimeter in which you want to shoot, that lets you define waypoints that you want to move around. It helps calculate the most efficient flight uh, path to accomplish that goal. And this in conjunction with other third-party mapping programs, pardon me. But we also make it available through our software development kit so that if you are, if, if you are inventing the next generation of 3D imaging capabilities, you can simply build this into the system. Trying to solve the problem. I'm developing the higher order solutions. And we want to show just how versatile an enterprise tool the drone system is. Helps the drones to navigate. Why don't we just give you my car? Uh, no, I'll give you my car. Why don't we just give you my car? No, I'll give you my car. Why don't we just give you my car? No, I'll give you my car. Why don't we just give you my car? No, I'll give you my car. Why don't we just give you my car? They're uh, Mavic, that's now handheld, so yeah. How much does it cost? How much does it cost? Yeah, this machine. 300, or $2.99 rather. It's been available for a while or? Uh, so in this color, uh, it's just available now, but uh, it's black brother has been around for about five months now. And uh, you can turn around like this? Yeah. It's, it's steady. Yeah, so it takes you know, regular shaky iPhone footage that you might have with a video and turns it into nice, smooth footage. How long is the battery life? Three hours. 